Hello and welcome. This is the webcast for Thursday for the members' uh, weekly teleclass. What we're doing today is how to calm things quickly. And we're choosing this topic because sometimes when we're speed manifesting, we get a bit freaked out. And I call it getting the speed manifesting wobbles or the speed wobbles. And we want to just stop everything or slow things down. And Sometimes it's not appropriate to actually slow things down because what happens is it takes things off track completely and we um, we get off track and then we have to start the momentum up and get it building or we um, we take the 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 idea that things are going too fast and that that's a bad thing and so so when I talk about calming things down, what I mean is two things. One is working out a method, a strategy for ourselves for when we understand that we, we do need a different pace. And two, what's actually going on behind it. And I think this is more important than anything. The second thing is more important than anything because when you start to understand what's going on by finding yourself yet again in the middle of a tempest in life, you know, this storm and then you have to slow things down. There are reasons for it and you may find through this particular teleclass that that you're getting an insight and a new awareness about why it keeps happening. We talk about things like self-sabotage or other things, but I just want you to know first of all that there are strategies that you do that you just start things straight away. So I'm going to cover three areas and and specifically we're going to do spiritual, then we're going to do mental, and then we're going to do physical. So I just want you to understand that the three areas you can work on to start calming things down quickly as you still are working on manifesting quickly. So that means really creating a space in your life for calmness. Now the reason that I, I want to go through these three parts is because it's really straightforward when you can just move into, first of all, a, a spiritual calmness. And that's the high-mindedness that is sometimes difficult for us to reach for when we're being challenged by people in our face or being challenged by circumstances that violate our values and it's not okay. And so to reach for calmness in the moment of a spiritual kind of calmness has no sense for it. It's that you, you look past the meaning and the physical humanness of life just so that you can have calmness. It is being in the universal now, but it's the things you've already heard of anyway. And so it's things like meditate. You know, just stop and breathe. Count to ten. Just meditate open up the space, slow down your breathing so that you slow down the time in between and then you can close your eyes and you can even do this right now just for a moment to try it out, just close your eyes and know that there's a lot going on out in the world and in your world but right now in this space with your eyes closed I just want you to slow down your breathing Take a big breath and just breathe out slowly. And now just match that breathing slowly. Notice if there's any colors that you'd like to see floating behind your eyes as you close them. Notice if there's anything for you to look at as you just focus on the breathing. It is a spiritual practice to do this. It feels physical, but it is reaching for the spiritual part of us. And the other part of the spiritual way to calmness is to reach for something in nature that, that is that we can appreciate. So it's connecting to something beautiful in nature that we can feel and appreciate. So that appreciation is a real spirituality that you can touch. 
I started with this because I think it's useful to, in the moment of, of the challenge for calmness, to reach for those things first. <laughs> what I do know is that it all goes out the window when in the next moment there's something else going on. So if you can make a moment where you can pause and you can come into the appreciation and then a bit of peace and then maybe even a bit of joy regardless of what the circumstances are and you can hold that space that's great if it's if it's that suddenly you're sideswiped again then there are, there are more things you can do All right so we'll move on the next part of using strategies to connect to that that calmness without losing the speed of manifesting without going off track is to to reach for the mental and you know the six mental factors that I talk about in speed manifesting I want you to start considering and you might have heard some of this stuff stuff before so it's taking the logic and and helping the mental and intellectual faculties that you have to get involved as well so if you've done a bit of breathing and yet there's still this stuff that comes into it, the, the mental chatter is coming into it, the everything else is doom and gloom or the why, why, why questions which don't help at all and don't create a new future, they're from the past. When all of that is overcrowding, then go to the mental and start logically looking at, okay, what story am I telling myself continuously about my life? What story, if I was actually telling a story about what was happening here, what would that story be? And if it seems to be a repetitive story, or you d you're tired of this story, whatever it is, or you don't want to have this story anymore, then what you do is you use your mental faculties to tell a new story. Now, you may have heard this technique before. It's the point about it is use, going into your mental faculties, using your intellectual faculties as part of this whole being that you are. So it's not that, that the uh, awareness that you're a spiritual being, awareness that you have this perception that's bigger and greater than the physical part of you. It's not that, that, that there's anything wrong because you can't stay in that. It's that you are a human being. You are in a physical body with all of these these physical chemicals going on through your body and you're working with other physical human beings and some of them are aware and some of them are not. And you are perceiving the whole universe on the basis of your viewpoint, your, your space in the universe, the point of light and perception that is you in the universe as a spiritual being is unique and therefore you have a unique set of priorities of values of how you see life based on your experiences and what you've decided about life and so use these mental faculties on the basis of logic to bring yourself back into alignment because the calmness with speed is alignment it's this feeling of everything's fine you know, 10 minutes ago, it could have been that you were completely hooked emotionally uh, by people, by circumstances, by doom and gloom, by your beliefs, by whatever. But, but when you get step into, when you step into alignment, it's in a moment. And you can still be manifesting incredibly quickly and, and turning things around to manifest better things for yourself by literally just telling a new story and just ending the old one saying enough enough of this what's the new story that I'm living into now now so this is not that I'm going to live into but that I'm living into right now what is it and it could be that if you hear the little voice saying my children never my wife always or my husband never that kind of prediction about the people in your life, my boss always, my workmates never, or you even go through the things that you have a relationship with that aren't working, money's always this, money's never this. Whatever it is, just notice that, that that's mental, it's a story that you're telling yourself based on history. 
and in order to change and calm things down so that you're not stuck in that storm and that tempest change the literally just make up a new story that's all just make up a new story and so 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 the other part of the mental faculties is using those other ones like imagination that is part of your mental faculties so just hook into visualizing something much better and something that you do want and and put a picture get a beautiful photo of something or someone that you'd like to switch and have that picture be where you're happy if you can just do it with your imagination great if you need the support of a photograph that's really happy great do that put that on your computer desktop as a background if you want to improve your relationship if you, you want to have something better and you want it quickly use your mental faculties one of them being imagination okay so start thinking about those hold your will as the storm and, and your will is another one of those faculties use these things when you need to but know which strategies you need now finally the third strategy is your physical so I say laugh move rest play do something physical sometimes it, just watching something funny for a while can get you back into alignment very quickly and it can t it can shift a whole, whole situation because you physically done something different with your body and then uh, moving your body is like just running or or getting up and going for a brisk walk it's all that these are common sense things when we get into the physical but just do something rest your body go to bed a little bit earlier tomorrow's a new day every day's a new day and so use that absolutely use it and then play you know how much do you play laugh and play during the day do something that you really consider playing but do it every single day and and it and that's where I'm leading to this this next part and it is of the final part that I haven't really talked about as the one two three it's it's outside of that but it encompasses all of it and I'll tell you about it in just a minute because I think you're gonna find out what might be keeping you stuck in this so we've talked about some strategies about the spiritual about the mental and about the physical to get yourself calm in any given moment without having to lose the speed lose the momentum or be fearful of manifesting fast let alone manifesting at all and then this next part is for you to have a new awareness you may have heard this before but it's very possible that you've never heard it in this context I want you to consider the possibility that you keep ending up at the same place that you keep getting stressed and challenged by life in different circumstances that look similar or in the same circumstances because you are lacking in energy it might be physical in terms of the effect but it's spiritual in terms of the requirement for life force and if you haven't realized that the the drama that you're creating is so that you can get some life force energy into you and the way that you've been able to cope with doing that when you've been low before is by stealing it from other people, their energy, by either attention and if they're not giving you attention. And th this might be such a home truth for you that you're shocked, absolutely shocked. But it might very well be that the new awareness that it's possible that the the situations that you keep getting yourself into are so that you can elicit energy from other people in different ways in your circumstances so that other people can sometimes it's having them feel sorry for you sometimes it's and, and not that we would want that but it's the circumstance we end up because it's the only way we know it's just the only way we know to get energy when we don't recognize that there's a circumstance I don't feel good I feel anxious we create some sort of conflict or stress among the people that are really important to us or among people that we're even casual with 
so that we can pull energy. So we're desperate for this energy. It's physical energy, but it's spiritual energy. It's life force energy. And so the, the, the awareness that's so important for you tonight to get is that you can change this with this awareness because when you start to feel like you, you need to reach for calmness but this is like almost out of control notice how if it's some sort of a um, pattern or some sort of an old story that keeps recurring that maybe it's just you need to find another way to pull life force energy it could be that you raise your vibration by getting some better food into you some green vegetables some raw juicy green food into you it's that it could be that you're just dehydrated and you need some good quality water so this is physical stuff that will give you the spiritual energy as well. It could be that you just have forgotten about appreciation because you've been swept up with this drama, not understanding the, the way to disconnect from the drama. But the joy in recognizing that this could very well be the reason you keep ending up here is that you just keep running out of energy and you're your poor beautiful body doesn't know any other way the subconscious that feeds the body knows no other way and when it comes right down to it it has to do something so it has you make choices physical choices using your mouth and using your body the way you move it the way you spend money compulsively so that it gets what it needs to continue getting the energy and that could be some sort of an addiction to uh, a hormone chemical uh, that's stress or that's excitement and it does that but it's costing you energy as well as feeding you and so as an addictive cycle it's time to break it okay so so that's actually good news the awareness is good news don't worry about the past and what you've done everyone that I know does that I do it until I get aware of what's going on and it's not okay for me anymore it's not okay for me to do that anymore that's there's another way and I know the other ways okay so it comes back full circle number one go to meditate but not just meditate in some way but meditate as you disconnect from the old call of energy and ask for energy in the meditation. You do not have to do this alone at all. Focus on the gratitude and appreciation for nature and life itself. Right? So we're back to that beautiful step one about the spiritual connection and the spiritual calmness. And then move into appreciation and asking for energy. Asking for energy. Okay, because that might be all you need, and you may find a huge shift in your life because what you're doing is you're asking for exactly what you need because you've got control of, and by control, I mean awareness of what your subconscious is asking for. So you've got control of what you ask for on, the, on behalf of your spirit, your body, the subconscious that is trying to help you. Okay? So that's the, it's very easy to do a quick show on, you know, how to get calm, breathe, do this, do that. But I really wanted you to have that new awareness that, hang on, just telling a new story may, may not be all of it. It may be that you need to understand that you are starved of energy, life force, spiritual energy, that we as human beings steal it back and forth. This wasn't a new concept. I, I learned the concept of human beings stealing energy from each other way back in the Celestine Prophecy book. The Celestine Prophecy was written in 19 or, or published in 1995 by James Redfield. Really good book. It's a novel that teaches about nine, man, a manuscript that has nine insights into it and it's really good. But one of them was talking about stealing the energy from other human beings and how we, we just haven't learned any other way when we need to. But the people that don't need to steal, the people that willingly give their attention 
can they ask for it in different ways they keep their energy up in different ways and you can too so it's just shifting with the awareness that you need more energy if you're in a tempest if it keeps coming up yes you need to breathe yes being in the meditative state is feeding your energy but now you understand what you're doing now you understand it's not just to kind of put a little bit of space around this huge machine called the circumstances so that you can have a moment of a breath but rather feed your energy and be in the calmness and watch what happens the circumstances themselves might just start to settle 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 out of your be out of you not requiring them anymore to feed your energy. So simple, isn't it? I hope that that has been the awareness and insight that you needed to hear this week. I hope that you can take what you already knew as part of the, the spiritual, the mental, and the, the physical ways of coping or strategies, and that you can, with boldness, now look at ways of increasing your energy anytime you notice that things aren't working the way you want them to you expect them to and then you'll have all that new freedom and that's what awareness is awareness is freedom because then you become the choice in life in that moment of what do you want to do now and then you get to live into it so thanks for coming on this tele class we are going to work on getting the chat happening so that we can ask some questions during and then at the end I, uh, the idea is that I look at all the questions and that I answer them as we go and we have this nice two-way conversation going on. Thanks. Um, this is the end of the recording so I'll turn that off now. Thank you very much for listening.